Okay. For some reason, the audio kept getting, like, seconds behind, just randomly. Oh, buy a boo. Oh yeah, they also randomly, they programmed a boo to, like, run around the level with you. He doesn't follow your movements or anything. He has his own pathing. He'll jump around on stuff that you're kind of on. He just climbed up here on his own, and now he's just waiting. And then he, like, kind of followed me back down, because I went to get that gem. And it's just like... Why did you spend all this time programming a boo? What was the point? But I like it. I wouldn't know to miss it if it weren't there, but now that it's there, it's pretty neat. Jeez. This audio driver's all staticky. I guess we'll just live with it for now, because this is not working. I wonder why it's having so much trouble. I played that cold. Sh I played Cold Shadow through twice today to see how fast I could go without practicing a speedrun strat. <laughs> I got and it, I didn't have any audio problems the second time. I fixed them, but it doesn't work for this game apparently. But I was able to beat it in an hour and then in 50 minutes on easy which is what the speedrun runs it on. Oh. Bounce off the archer. That game's kind of fun to go fast in, I have to say. I did enjoy that. This gym is always a pain. Okay, not what I wanted. Come on, we can do it. There we go. <laughs> I remember that one. They really did just have some guy on their development team that was just like, hmm, monkey. And that became his entire job for probably about a year. <laughs> Drawing monkey. Programming monkey. Updating monkey every time they change any tiny detail about the game. It's just neat. He just kind of goes around... He doesn't have any, like, set path or anything. I can come down here, I'll run back this way, I'll go over this way. He won't jump up this time. Yeah, NFT monkeys. I don't understand why they have to be so ugly, honestly. You could draw them nice. I mean, you could. If you're planning on making all this money, you'd think you would commission somebody, but whatever. Oh yeah, we're just gonna fight this guy in the market, instead of tricking him. No big deal. He's not tough. Yeah, they're somehow making money anyways. The, the somehow is called scamming. They're scamming people. Oh, here's that Aladdin portrait I was telling you about in Kingdom Hearts. See? It's the same one. They got it from the same source. They had to. I missed a gem. <laughs> hmm. Together, Aladdin and Jasmine escape the Sultan's guards, and... Wait, I just realized this whole screen frame is just the magic carpet. I never noticed that before. <laughs> oh, that audio so terrible. The other driver sounded better, but it kept lagging. Hold on, I'm gonna fiddle with this again. Ah. <laughs> Let's try this one. That one's up an octave for some reason. Why is it so horrible? What's happening? 
Anyways, so Aladdin went to prison. The Genesis game has a prison level. The SNES game does not for some reason. It's crackling a lot, and I don't know why. Glad to get out of prison. Aladdin doesn't suspect that the old man is actually Jafar in disguise. What? I, yeah, I, I don't know why they're so different. They're called. They're both just called Disney's Aladdin. So I didn't actually. I don't actually know if I picked the right category for Twitch. I guess the Abu programmer got bored because Abu just kind of runs ahead in this level and disappears for a while. And cave baguette. Why is it a baguette? Be uh, <laughs> you know, why not? Baguette. I can't get back up there. Because that is how cartoon bread is drawn, it's true. Can I look up? I can't. But yeah, the Super Nintendo version is for sure like 100% strictly the better platformer. Uh, whoa, that was close. Uh-oh. Come on. Get it. Get it. So that red gem gave me an... Oh, right. If you get 100 gems, you get more hearts. And then he's all excited about something here and boom, gold. This doesn't count as touching. Because we don't have any intent. Ah, there's a skeleton. I don't remember you. Something's hilarious to this guy. And both versions are less frustrating than the Lion King game. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got further in the Lion King game than I did in the, in the Genesis Aladdin. That could just be because I had this version of Aladdin that I much preferred. Whenever I wanted to play an Aladdin game. Oh, the following carpet. Second level, yeah. <clears throat> the one with the monkeys and the ostriches. I definitely beat that level as a kid. I never beat the game, though. That's for sure. Ooh. What's the genie face do? Oh, I got it. What's it do? What's it do? Oh, I got enough. I had extra heart. That's awesome. So yeah, if you put in a password to start over where you where you left off, you don't get all of your hearts that you collected. The the passwords are too simplistic to remember that data. So they're just level select codes basically. Oh no. Gimme. Yeah, right? <laughs> Pretty random. <clears throat> yeah. It's we There are some weird things about this game. They skipped some stuff from the movie. Like, there's no level for, like, breaking out of the... out of the cell. But there's a... and you go straight to the Cave of Wonders, but there's a level that I think is inside Genie's Lamp <laughs> in this game. That's there. Good thing we're not greedy and we're not gonna take it. That would be that would be stupid. Yeah, that level sucked. I think that's where I quit playing and started using the level the level skip code. God, that crackly audio. It's so annoying. 
Abu, no! Infidels! Best part of the movie. When Aladdin's monkey takes a gem and gets called an infidel. Oh heck yeah, I'll have a chase sequence. As soon as Abu touches the gem, the cave begins to collapse. Go figure. They're going to have to get out of there. They're gonna have to get out of there. Womp womp. <laughs> this one's an auto-scroller. You can't control lava. Who do you think you are, Maui Mallard? Genesis game is also like a million times harder for no good reason. I don't know, something about this one just felt more like an Aladdin game to me growing up. So this is the one I just kind of attached to. It's possible he became a ninja during the TV show. Ooh, Aladdin. That sounds amazing. There's no... There's no way that show is good, right? I never watched it. It wasn't. <laughs> Give me the scare... Well, it's... it's gone. That's unfortunate. I hit the box too early. Oh god. Well, I guess that's one way to get the red gem. Too late. We're not getting all the red gems today. Desmond turned into a snake woman. Oh, uh. oh the lava doesn't insta kill you. Well, that would have been good to know when I was trying to get that gem earlier. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine, we're good. Heck yeah, pose. pose confidently. Second, second lava level. I think you instantly die from everything in this level. There can't not be a random difficulty spike after all. It's a Disney game in the 90s when rentals were hot. So tough though. Whoa. He did not open my mouth. Is medieval Arabia and ancient Greece exist at the same time in the Disney verse? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it? Aladdin and Abu escape to deliver the lamp to Jafar. crackling. But he tricks them and seals them in the cave. You'll have to take my word for it, we're not showing it. Fortunately, Abu cleverly stole the lamp from a, from Jafar. In order to read the writing, Aladdin rubs it with his sleeve. With his sleeve? Aladdin rubs the lamp with his sleeve. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'm looking at Aladdin right now, and I don't think he did. <laughs> Hades was just annoyed at Jafar's maniacal after. You know, Aladdin and his sleeves. Aladdin and the 40 sleeves. After all, that's what that's called, right? He has sleeves now. So yeah, apparently this level is in the lamp. Th this is... Ain't never had a friend like me, the level, for some reason. Oh right, I forgot those platforms react. Check it out. He's looking up, and he'll- uh, 
Oh, they get sad if you die. Yeah, they'll look up at you. And to the side, if you're on the side. Appears here is RNG. I should let go of the run button when I'm standing on the clouds. Noted. Looks like the red gems don't have to be collected twice. Right. Yeah, I think it's RNG what type of traversal device appears here. I'm not 100% sure on that. Thanks. Why have you brought me here? It's dangerous. Didn't expect that jump to go so short. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay. Well, apparently that platform is narrower than it looks even. Or I lost a jump input. The sound is awfully crackly, and the, uh... Actually, this game might just not have coyote frames at all. That could have been 100% my bad. I don't know. Let's just not. Let's not worry about it. We'll just go way over everything. It's fine. There's a tornado in here. There are many tornadoes in here. What have you done? Give me that. Eh. Ow. More bonus. I need more. So we're about halfway done with the game now. There is that one random pyramid level that comes out of nowhere. Thanks. I got one heart. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Genie, why are you like this? these little f birds in the vases are. They're in the first level, in the totally non-magical first level. Which is bizarre, because they were clearly just thrown into this game haphazardly. I don't understand their existence at all. 
Like, this game has bats, why can't it just be bats? Oh, he's full. Oh, it has both. I didn't know that. That's cool. I appreciate that. Uh, I think that's the end of the lamp. Password with the goofy Aladdin face. Hey, I got all the gems that time. I still don't know if that does anything. Help the genie in the magic carpet. And Aladdin's definitely still attached to his shirt sleeves. That he definitely has. Hey, they fly back to Agrabah. Unfortunately... Abu cannot, cannot sit still, and as he scampers across the carpet, is blown overboard into the desert. When Aladdin swoops down to rescue the playful monkey, he discovers that Abu has disappeared into the ruins of an ancient pyramid. For some reason. He's gonna go find him. <laughs> this level wasn't out of nowhere at all. Uh, it's a totally legitimately added level that should exist. I'm just saying, you could take the level layout of this and make it a prison level and move it back. Move it back and make it the second level. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, enough. Double arrow man. Probably get rid of some of the more difficult platforming stuff, like the moving sand and all that. Since it would only be the second level. Come uh, back! No more bonuses for us. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. You know, I heard this emulator was supposed to be more accurate to the original Super Nintendo, but it's just not working out. I think I'm going to go back to my other one after this. Which is a shame, because I just downloaded a bunch of shaders for this one to make the pixels pop more like they're supposed to. I haven't gotten them to work yet. This is just not... Like, it's crackly and... The, it keeps having all these little hiccups. That may or may not be eating my inputs. I could also just be messing up. It's, it's possible. <laughs> okay, that was... I pressed jump in the middle of that platform that time. Maybe the original Super Nintendo game eats inputs, actually. I hadn't considered that. Oh. I wanted that gem. Stupid sand bats. Well, I get another chance at this. Or I can just die immediately. Cool. <laughs> Don't grab the thing, then. Eh. Lost my sailcloth. Thankfully, the game generously just immediately gives you another one. I'm not sure why they made this a power-up, and not just a thing you have. If they're just gonna give it to you immediately, if you lose it. Especially if regular just dying doesn't lose it, if it has to be a game over. 
Oh, I keep facing left on this. I mean, it's right. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This part that this falling sand gets super laggy and horrible. So we're just gonna sail over it and not try the tr tricky platforming. there's a trick to this minigame. Or if it is just random. Oh, we got star. Oh, continue. Okay. Very happy genie. He's more valuable than the continue he gave us. to say, Aladdin definitely can't wall jump. That makes sense. There is... The good thing about this emulator is when it is running like it's supposed to, it is more responsive. But it keeps chugging like that, and I think I think that's normal. I think that's where the, the Super Nintendo would have chugged too. But I'm losing inputs when it does it. That's a really hard to get gem. they made that harder than they meant to or what position. Hey, those guys dodge apples. And then you kill them. Boss fight! Oh god. What could it be? Why are his eyes red? Got some deep lore here in the Aladdin video game about mummies that mesmerize monkeys. Aladdin has the genie turn him into a... Prince! 
outfitted with a magnificent caravan. Aladdin, now Prince Ali of Abwa, returns to Agrabah. As a prince, he can now try and win the hand of the princess in uh, marriage. <laughs> we ran only due to her to Egypt for no reason. Yeah. We were a little out of out of place for a minute there. Retro rendition of this song. It's too bad it's all crackly right now, and I can't do anything about it. And there's no. Relad and Jasmine randomly visit sets for Achilles and Milan. And ancient Egypt again. Zap. <laughs> Just when things are going great for Aladdin. Iago steals the lamp. Just like in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Jafar, who is now master of the lamp, uses his new magic powers to send Aladdin off to the ends of the earth. But there's not a level for that. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do the part of... Whoa, Abu's head is on backwards. <laughs> Sprite artists, fix this. What have you done? Yeah. Yeah, and I have to hit Iago a million times while Jafar moves as fast as a sail. A snail, yep, that's about right. Yeah, we no snow level, we're just gonna skip to this part. Boink. Goodbye. Bye. Throw those a little more conveniently for me, please. I want that red gem up there. Okay, bye. That's horrifying. What's that supposed to be? Up here. Actually, oh. 
Iago is dropping skulls on us. Yeah, come a little further this way. Iago, buddy. For some reason, I need you to work with me here. This so hard. Ah, thank you. You have healed me, fool. We can swing on the lanterns. Cool. And they will totally kill a guy. A little dangerous to swing over the archers, though. I think I'll just. Uh... Why do we have more bonus levels? I thought this was the end. Kitty, did I forget to feed you before I started? Or are you just sleepy? Okay, what do we get? I think this is probably our last one we can get. Hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Three lives. I don't remember getting that as a kid. But we got it twice in this run. Jafar made all of the guards wear purple for some reason. could swing on those. Oh god. Oh. Weird. Oh, the chicken. It's fine. I just had to glide further. Well, it's not like we got them all anyways. Confident pose. I'm gonna jump on your head. This is my plan. Uh, it controls the weather. I think he comes down here sometimes. there's a way to get it up there to him while he's still up there and just keep bouncing on him but I don't know how to do it. Ow. <laughs> ah, the lightning. Chill. battle.
Suddenly snake. The ground is snake. There's fire under the snake. And he spits eggs at us for some reason. Oh god, I- okay. This is definitely lagging more than it should. I think it's emulating the fact that the SNES lags sometimes a little too hard. I think it's overdoing it. Ow. The apples don't even burst on him, they just bounce off. I cannot play like this. It's so laggy. And then they have Genie Jafar, or Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yeah, he should have been a Cobra at least once, right? I mean, there shouldn't have been a boss fight, because in... Or a boss fight like that, because in Kingdom Hearts 2, it's Aladdin 2, where they destroyed the lamp. We won, but oh no! <laughs> but I forgot, Jafar's literally a giant snake right now. Jumping on his head does nothing. An all powerful genie. The universe is mine to command, to control. The kitty. Yes, yes, I can feel the absolute power. Behold, behold me and have seizures. Wait. Not mode 7. My sprite can be rotated freely. No! Well. Sorry, I lied. No biggie. Nice reprisal of a whole new world, actually. Wow, I'm free, I'm free. Just like that. <laughs> it took him a while to get that shock expression off his face. There he goes. I feel like they meant to do that animation earlier on in this text. They didn't. They didn't want to animate him walking, so he just goes doot, 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 <laughs> onto the screen. Do a lot of time. Wow, Abu looks so dead inside. Also, way bigger than he should be in this shot. <laughs> That's sprite art for you, though. If they made him any smaller, he'd be a blurry mess in this close-up. Sprite art can be finicky that way. And that's the whole game. The only thing left 
to do it is to get all the gems, which I don't think does anything. Is one of the planner's names Salary Man? Yeah, it is pretty short. The Genesis one is a lot longer. I just don't like it. It doesn't look and feel as much like... like The sprites are more detailed, but the animations are way too bubbly. They're kind of over-animated. If, if I'm remembering right. These names aren't real. What are, why are these names not real? I guess a lot of the people who worked on this use pseudonyms. Very weird. Oh, you know what? I wonder if they couldn't fit uh, kanji onto the cartridge and they didn't want to type out everyone's names in English pronunciation. Professor F. In Dudley? That's, that was a real name, probably. This is another- this is a different reprisal of A Whole New World than the one we just heard during the ending sequence. Special thanks, Capcom All Staff and you. Total 61. You are a great player! I wonder if it does do something if you get them all right in the... I wonder if it says something different on that screen, and that's like the only difference. I'm gonna feed the cat and switch over to my PlayStation because I have been working on those bosses. <laughs> 